Wafula Chebukati, Kenya's president of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, has faulted violence and unfavorable weather for disruptions in the Kenya elections rerun. Chaotic scenes have since ensued opposition strongholds of Homa Bay, Kisumu, Migori and Siaya, leaving at least three people dead. The polls also showed fewer people turned up to vote compared to the previous polls. Chebukati noted that the presidential election rerun would not be postponed after 28th October in four counties of Homa Bay, Kisumu, Migori and Siaya, while also faulting heavy rains for impacting voting in some areas. In case Saturday we have similar issues, then the Commission will have to make a decision on the way forward. But we cannot keep on extending uh, uh, that right to vote after Saturday. We shall have to make a decision. He explained that the electoral body had so far received about 27,124 forms from 34 a forming the 80% of the 35,564 polling stations and Uhuru Kenyatta maintains the lead. So far, we have received 27,124 from 34As. This is both at the back end and in the public portal. which means this is part of what forms 80% of the 35,564 polling stations which opened uh, this morning. More results are coming in from other polling stations. Tunayendelea na kufanya ile maesabu. Kuna watu wanausika, kuna maobservers huko inje. Na sisi sote tutakuja hapa tuseme kama uchagusi ni kamilifu ama si kamilifu. Meanwhile, concerns have arisen in Kenya over the possibility of more bloodshed as has been witnessed in the repeat of the election polls. At least four people have been killed in clashes over Kenya's election rerun, prompting officials to delay the vote in four counties. The concern is that the re-announcement of Uhuru Kenyatta as president in the election rerun will cause more chaotic outbreaks from the violence that is already being experienced as opposition supporters show their dissatisfaction with the election rerun. We guns. We also have guns. We will have to fight them back. If they fight us, we will fight them back. And we don't care. We don't care. In the eastern port city of Mombasa, police said a man was stabbed as he was going out to vote, while in Kisumu, a police officer was also wounded with a knife. Nairobi's Mathare and Kibera slums have also been rocked with violent clashes from opposition supporters. Estimated figures compiled by the election board put Uhuru at the lead with 80% of polls in. Hospitals are getting congested with injured persons who need medical assistance, especially for broken limbs, gunshots, fire wounds, and blood transfusion. The violence has drawn sharp response from rights watchdog Amnesty International calling for interventions on addressing the violence.